What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing live stream overlay that you can use while streaming. So let's get started, obviously, as always, right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, guys. So right now we are in Twitch Studio. And if you didn't watch the last episode, make sure to check out the link in the description. Watch that video, then come back to this one. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a stream overlay and a face cam. But right now we're going to go full on live stream layout including a face cam border, like I've mentioned in the previous episode, a stream overlay, all these panels, alerts. So I don't really know how long this video is going to be. I'm gonna keep this as short as possible to keep it like short and brief, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done. So if you haven't seen the first video, we're gonna start from scratch again. So we're gonna work in layers in Twitch Studio. So we're gonna click on layer, and now we're gonna pick image. Now we're gonna insert our face cam border. So right now we're gonna hit browse on the very right. And as you can see from the previous episode, those two are in, but we're gonna pick a different one just to change things up, pick browse, and I'm going to pick this face cam border that you can find on own3d.tv. The link is in the description down below. Okay, so right now, right here, it is imported. We're going to click on select. And this is our face cam border that we have nice in the screen. And we're going to also move on directly onto our overlay. So I'm going to add in another layer, pick image, hit browse on the very right, hit browse once more. And we're going to pick the overlay without a webcam because we obviously already have a face cam border. So I'm going to click on there. Also pick this one and hit select at the bottom. Okay, so now it's just a matter of basically putting this one onto the edges and then just drag it a lot bigger until it matches the screen. So right here, it says like donation, top donation, latest donation, all that. So we're gonna click on image and we're gonna place this one on top of the stream overlay. And then we're gonna position our face cam border, let's say for example, in the bottom left corner, because we're gonna pretend that we have, for example, a gameplay and you don't want to cover up any like important parts, for example, like your score that's listed on the very bottom right. Okay, so now that we have our layout in there, what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and set up a couple alerts. Okay, guys, so in order to make these panels work, we're not going to import them as regular images because they only need to pop up when somebody donates. Because if you're going to import them into your live stream with just an image, they're going to be sitting there not doing anything, not making any sound. There's no username going to pop up. So if you did that, just make sure to delete that one. And we need to also use this image for example, on Streamlabs, where we can actually like configure our donation alert. Right now we want to log in with Twitch. So then what we need to do is we're going to go to our alert box right here on the left. And then what we need to do is scroll down and right here, you want to basically upload the image that we got from own3d.tv. So we're gonna click right here on donations and then we can customize it. So right here we have the layout. I would just pick the middle one. And right here it is our image. It's right now it's just Coral from Fresh Prince, but we're gonna click on change media and we're going to go ahead and upload our image that we just got from the website. Okay, so here it is. So we're going to click on select. So this is what the donation looks like. So what you can also do is, for example, like insert donation sounds. So that is what we're going to do as well that you can also get on the website. Okay, so this is basically what we're going to use. As you can hear. So when somebody donates, this will pop up and you will also hear that sound. Now you can also choose like the alert du duration and the sound volume. I would put the volume just a little bit. Otherwise, if people have their audio like really loud, they will also hear this sound like a lot louder as well. So I would just keep this one on 60%, just not to be too, a little bit too distracting. And otherwise you would just like to leave these settings how they are. Okay, so now how do we get this alert into our Twitch studio? Right here, it is automatically changing the URL. So we're gonna just hit copy. 
and we're going to go back to Twitch Studio. We're going to click on layers and we're going to embed a web page. Now, then what we need to do is at the very top, we need to basically fill in the URL that we just got from Streamlabs, fill it in, click on that arrow. So now we are back on Streamlabs and let's hit test donation. So as you can hear, this is our test donation. And you can also do that for the other ones, for example, like new follower, new subscriber, anything like that. So now that we have all our like alerts set up, what we need to do now is we can also capture our gameplay. Okay, so I booted up Minecraft real quick just to show you how to import your game footage. So let's click on layers and we're going to pick main screen share. We need to pick the source that we want to stream. So we're gonna click change. We're going to look for Minecraft in this list, which is obviously right here and we're gonna hit done. Now, as you can see, this is Minecraft fully in the screen. You can, for example, click like fill and then it's going to fill the entire screen. Now, everything is under our gameplay. How do we change that? Now, we want to go ahead and click, for example, like main screen share and drag that down. It is overlaying our gameplay. So now if you want to go ahead and, for example, click multiplayer, you can go into different servers and you can actually start streaming and you also have your awesome overlay. All right, guys, it's lagging a lot because I'm running so many different programs at the same time but this is basically how to also import your gameplay. So this is how to create a live stream layout, guys. Have a face cam in the bottom left corner, have your overlay with like donation and top donation and new follower and your donation alerts as well. When somebody donates, you have your gameplay in there. If you want to see like how to actually import your face cam itself, your webcam, make sure to stay tuned for the next episode and all the future episodes we have because I'm going to show you also how to use a green screen in Twitch Studio. All of that is coming your way, so make sure to stay tuned. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I want to thank guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys obviously in my next video.